you can go to the door you can click it and it will be opened and click it again and it will close hey everybody Shelby here back for another video and today I will be showing you how to make a clickable door in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to View. It should be at the top of Roblox Studio. Then go down a little bit and then to the left. You'll see Properties and Explorer. You're going to want to open both of these and move them wherever you want. I'm just going to put them right there. And then in the same area, you're going to want to click Output. You can move it to wherever you want. I'm going to put it down here. This will help you detect errors and stuff inside of your scripts. So now, back to home. Then click part. It will create a part. If you want to make it wood, you can go to material. Next to UI, which is next to part. And click it. Click that arrow right there, and then all this will stuff. All this stuff will pop up. I'm gonna go with the wood, and I'm gonna change the color to brown. And you can move it wherever you want. I'm just gonna move it right here for the door, and then you can, cl you can see the part in Explorer. If you don't. You can open up workspace by clicking that arrow next to it. And then you will see part. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it door. And then you're going to want to go to the properties. Once you have it's the part selected, you're going to want to go down to properties. And then change anchored to true. Clicking this box right here. That'll make it not be able to be knocked down or moved. And then, you're going to want to clone the door by right-clicking it, and then clicking Duplicate. Then, you can rename this Close. Because you're going to need this to know where it's going to be when it's closed. So you can put that directly in the door's position. And then you're going to want to clone, but no, you're going to want to go to properties while well, you have close selected. And then change the transparency to 1. This will make it so you can't see it. You also want it to be anchored like your door is. And the most important part is making it not can collide. So you're going to want to go to can collide and behavior inside of properties. And then get rid of the check inside of that box. I'll make it so you can't collide with this. Then you're going to want to clone close by going by right clicking it, going to duplicate. You're going to want to move this out. You want to move open. I mean close. You're going to rename the other one you just cloned to open. You can put the close in the door back in its position. An easier way to do it is by going to home and then using the move tool and using the arrows to so get it into the exact position you want easier. And this is where the door is gonna, that's where the door is gonna be and what it's gonna look like when it's opened. So place that where you want it the door to be when it's opened. So I'm gonna put it right inside right here, inside of this house. And then you're going to want to hover over all these, select all of them. If you don't know how to do that, you can select one, hold shift, and then select another one right there. Then I'll select all of them. Then right click all of the one you have selected, and then Click a group. This will put them all inside of a model. Inside a workspace. You're going to want to rename the model whatever you want. I'm going to name it door model. And then you can open up the model by clicking the arrow next to it. 
and then you can see everything inside of it. Then, you're going to want to right-click door inside of the door model. So right-click that, and then insert object. You're going to want to insert a click detector, so you can click it in-game. It won't do anything yet, because there's no script inside of it. So you want to right-click click, de click detector, and then insert object again, but this time, a normal script. You can name the script whatever you want. I'm going to name it door script. And then, we're not done yet, we're going to want to right click door script, insert object, then insert a bool value. Name it open. And then, you'll have that inside of the script. You're going to want to keep that false. Don't change anything in here yet. And you're going to want to go inside the script by double-clicking it. And then, you'll be greeted with this. You don't need this, so you can just get rid of it. And then, that's where the scripting starts. So you're going to want to put local, because we're going to make a variable local model so the variable is going to be named model equals script so the script dot parent right there dot parent again that's the door dot parent and then that's the model and then that's the model then you're going to want to make another variable which is going to be the door so local door equals model dot door or whatever you named your door and then you'll be able to select all of these anytime you need to I'm gonna make another variable called value which is going to be the value inside of the script we're going to need this to detect if it if the door is opened or not so value equals script dot opened dot value. So go to the script dot opened dot value. And then another one, which is going to be where the door is going to be when it's closed. So local close equals model dot close or whatever you named the close position. And then local open, pretty much the same as close, but open equals model dot open and that's all the variables now we're going to get to the function part so you're going to want to put script dot parent which is the click detector dot mouse click so that will detect whenever it's clicked and then connect that will that's the start of the function. You're going to want the function inside of it. And then that. If you want to mess around with the player once they click it, you can put player right there. We won't be using that yet. So press enter. And then this will appear right there. And then you can start scripting. So we're going to use an if statement. If script dot if value if value equals false equals equals false then we're going to open the door so we're going to need to change the value first so we know that it's open opened and then you're going to want to put door dot position so it's going to get to the door position then we're going to change it into the open position so door dot position equals open dot position. We also need it to rotate instead of just going in the position and not rotating. So you're going to want to press enter again. Then door dot orientation. That's the rotation of the door. Then door dot orientation equals open dot orientation. So that will rotate it correctly. And that's all you need to put right there. 
Now you want to press enter again, but we're going to make another if statement, but this time an else if. So else if value equals equals true, then that will detect if it's already opened. So value equals false to make it close and detect that. And then we're going to do the same thing here, but this time this is going to be closed. So, door top position equals open, but this time close dot position, and then door dot orientation equals close dot orientation, and that's all you need for the open and closing script. Then you can go up here, right below the script menu or whatever. Your tab you're on, you're going to want to go to base plate. You can see the door here, you can see everything. You're going to want to click play. It's in the home tab at the top and play. It's in test. I have play here, but it should just be showing play. So I'm going to click play. And then you're in your game. You can go to the door, you can click it, and it will be opened, and click it again, and it will close. And that's how you make a clickable door in Roblox. Now that's how you make a clickable door in Roblox. Thanks for watching.